Did you know that some animals can run faster than a car driving through a neighborhood? It's true. One of these incredible speedsters might surprise you. Imagine an animal with ears so big, they act like their own personal air conditioners. More than just cute, long-eared critters hopping around the desert, they're elite athletes of the animal kingdom, built for survival in some of the toughest places on Earth. Their speed is the stuff of legends. They can disappear in a flash to escape hungry predators. Get ready to dive into the world of one of North America's most fascinating animals. We're going on an adventure to explore the life of the jackrabbit. All right, so I told you that a jackrabbit is actually a hare. But what does that even mean? Let's break it down. Hares and rabbits may look similar, but they're different in some important ways. Understanding that distinction helps us appreciate the jackrabbit. This journey will show how every part of their body, from the tips of their long ears to the powerful muscles in their back legs, is designed to survive. They're prey for coyotes, raptors, and more, but their speed and cleverness make them tough to catch. The biggest difference between hares and rabbits happens the moment they are born. Baby rabbits, which are called kits, are born blind, hairless, completely helpless. They need to be hidden away in a cozy, fur-lined burrow underground by their mother to stay safe and warm. Hares, on the other hand, have a totally different start to life. Baby hares, called leverets, are born ready to go. They come into the world with a full coat of fur and their eyes wide open. Within minutes, a baby hare can already hop around and explore its surroundings. They don't live in burrows, but are born in a simple, shallow nest on the surface of the ground often just a small depression in the grass. Rabbits are often social creatures, sometimes living in large groups in complex tunnel systems called warrens. Hares, including the jackrabbit, are much more solitary. They rely on speed and camouflage rather than burrows or numbers. Generally larger, with longer ears and more powerful hind legs, hares are built for life out on the open range. Let's take a closer look at the jackrabbit's body because it's like a finely tuned racing machine. The black-tailed jackrabbit has ears that can be up to six inches long. First, they work like giant satellites, swiveling around to catch the faintest sounds of a predator, like the quiet footsteps of a coyote or the swoosh of an owl's wings. But those ears have another amazing secret. They work like a personal air conditioner. The ears are filled with a network of tiny blood vessels, Breeze cools the blood which circulates back to the body to regulate temperature. Now let's talk about those legs. A jackrabbit's hind legs are incredibly long and powerful. Packed with strong muscles, they're built for explosive speed. They can cover up to 20 feet in a single bound. That's longer than a large car. The front legs are shorter and help with balance and steering as the jackrabbit zigs and zags. Their brownish-gray fur gives excellent camouflage among dry grasses and soil. Their large eyes set high on the head give them nearly a 360-degree field of vision. They can see almost all the way around without turning their head. Every single part of the jackrabbit is a masterpiece of natural engineering. Jackrabbits are true North Americans, found all across the western and central parts of the continent. Their habitats are as varied as the landscapes themselves. They generally prefer open or semi-open country where they have plenty of room to run. Think of wide open spaces like deserts, prairies and grassy plains, and scrublands with low shrubs for cover. There are several species. The best known is the black-tailed jackrabbit, found from Washington State down into Mexico. Then there's the white-tailed jackrabbit in cooler northern climates. Their coat turns white in winter for camouflage. Food and water can be scarce. Jackrabbits are resourceful and get most of their water from the plants they eat. They're most active at dawn and dusk. Crepuscular behavior helps them avoid midday heat and predators. During the hottest part of the day, they rest in a shallow depression called a form, often under a bush or grass clump. So just how fast is a jackrabbit? Hold on to your hats, because this is incredible. A black-tailed jackrabbit can run at speeds up to 45 miles per hour. That's faster than a grizzly bear, faster than a coyote, even faster than the world's fastest human sprinter. They can maintain this high speed for short bursts, which is usually all they need to escape a dangerous situation. It's not just straight line speed. Their agility and zigzag pattern confuse and exhaust predators. 
predators often lose ground as the jackrabbit leaps and changes direction. Their main predators include coyotes, bobcats, eagles, hawks owls, and foxes. In some areas, even snakes can prey on young jackrabbits. Jackrabbits are herbivores. They eat grasses, weeds, and leaves and twigs of shrubs like sagebrush and creosote. Speed also helps them cover large territories quickly to find scattered food. Speed is the key to every aspect of their life. Now let's talk about what jackrabbits eat. They munch on a wide variety of vegetation, tough grasses, leafy weeds, woody shrubs like mesquite and creosote. By grazing, they trim vegetation and create open patches other species need, nature's gardeners. Here's a quirky kind of gross fact that's essential. Jackrabbits practice coprophagy. They make a soft, moist pellet at night and eat it. So food passes through twice and they absorb more nutrients from fibrous plants. Despite adaptations, jackrabbits face big threats from human development, roads, farms, and shrinking habitat. Climate change and drought alter plant communities and make food and water scarcer. Protecting prairie and scrubland benefits jackrabbits and the whole web of wildlife that depends on them. They're a critical food source for eagles, bobcats, and many others. Their presence signals a healthy ecosystem. They're a wild symbol of the American West. Let's keep them racing across the plains for generations. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe.